Okay, so and then now I want to uh, okay out today. I just demonstrate very simple one So I'm just use I'm going back to elevation So now I'm going to use this reparation uh, this reference sketch image as my height reference so I'm saying that I just simply Copy or you can recreate another plan. So simple, but now I will just simply copy it I will using okay. There are two ways you can type copy and enter. Then it will ask you select object to copy. So I select this curve and enter and point to copy from. So this is kind of base point. I select the origin one and point to copy to. I will use the top point here on top of the picture frame. And then I will press enter. I'll finish that. So now we have two curves in space. But you can do this one, which is you draw some image. You can draw some curves. For example, not exactly, but I will draw, I will draw some curve from the same process. I'll draw some point, multiple point. And then as you see, when I do that, actually all points are actually, uh, where are the points? Okay, I will do in front view, I will add point in somewhere here. And then probably it's a little bit more point. Roughly, and then I escape or enter to finish adding point. Then I will draw curve based on that. And then probably you can use this one for your third one. And also probably I would maybe copy this one from in the my plan I may copy this one from here to here so I have two curves on a y-axis or uh, g-axis or y-axis and to create a three-dimensional form our, in our case, it's to create a column, I will simply use loft function. So type loft and enter. And then select curves to loft. So I will select this top curve and bottom curve and enter. Then it will ask you to flip automatic natural. So I type just enter for now. Now you will have some options from now on, which is normal, loose, tight. I generally use tight or normal. Loose will kind of give you a kind of little bit kind of like simplified form. So I kind of general or straight section. It's okay if it is simple line, but I'll just test it. So now you, we create a simple column from our sketch. A uh, little bit, um, a little bit add some spice <laughs> instead of doing this I will rotate this one and then using simple center line and I'll rotate a little bit and then probably I will sc using scale origin point center a little bit shrink it uh, just make sure that I will do this one in plan view so I'll select here, I switch to top because so kind of I kind of confine that the scale is in two dimensional way, not three dimensional way. So I'm using scale, origin point, and a little bit smaller. But height is changed, so be careful about that because I think it is because the point is in three dimensional space. So I will add some point 
near here and then I'll a little bit move it using move enter select the point enter and move it from here to near center and I temporarily hide all other stuff and then I will use scale now so origin point is here and a little bit make it smaller okay so it's in two dimensional so your function is actually dependent on whether you are in top view front view and right view so be careful about that if you're working on perspective it's kind of uh, scale up and down three dimensionally but if you do in top view it will only work on two dimensional way so now I will show again and then I simply loft again the larger one which is on the bottom and the top one okay uh, loft enter select curves top one and bottom one and enter and then enter again then it will create some weird shaped curves so now it's a little bit difficult to understand what is going on so I will change the I will stop here uh, 